let's create the player object for our first person controller. Let's quickly fire up a project. So now let's quickly create a ground for the player to move around. Now we will begin to construct our player object. So for the player objects, we will use the capsule. A capsule is usually used for human characters because its shape best fits a human body. And the rounded top and bottom allows it to move on uneven meshes. Now the capsule is a bit fat, so we'll reduce the scale to make it thinner. And for the Y scale, I'll leave it as 1 because it is actually 2 units high. So here is a comparison. I have a cube of height 1. And you can see it is actually one half the height of the capsule. And now for the player object, I'll attach a rigid body component to it. And for the rigid body, let's go to constraints and I'll freeze all the rotation axes. And for the mass, I'll increase it to 70. Now after that, let's create another empty object inside the capsule object. And I'll name it the hat. Let's increase the height of the hat. And inside the hat, we'll place a camera object. So now we have constructed our player object. So let's go ahead and create our player controller script. We'll rename the capsule to player and attach the player controller script to the root player object. Now let's work on a player controller script. So let's quickly fix the brackets. And down here we will add some references with the head attribute. And we'll reference the rigid body, the head transform, as well as the main camera. Let's save the script. Go back to the editor. And drag the object references to the player controller script. So there we have successfully constructed the base player object. In the next episode, we will focus on the movement of the player. I'm Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned!